come in and you are you getting tight to it mm -hmm. now or are you kind of I'm getting I'm getting if you're great. talking about something specific great I don't great mm -hmm. okay um I, I have to say I like the are these earrings do you think uh -huh. they, oh yeah, yeah. okay uh-huh yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah those guys and the, and the shades the hats I mean the, yeah. the whole it's such a mix of mm -hmm. of um kind of street tough and um yeah. traditional and mm -hmm. And they're rather burly and good looking. Yep. <laughs> That's what you find. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it a fairly macho culture? Depends on the tribe and the area. I mm -hmm. think most tribes were traditionally uh, matrilineal, mm -hmm. matriarchal okay. as well. And so, um, especially here in the Northwest, mm -hmm. all the tribes were led by women. Ah. Uh, then the elder women councils actually were. Um, had the last say, mm -hmm. so to speak, over everything. So, yeah. so in some cultures, um, chose the chiefs. You know, the women chose the chiefs. Yeah, and really had the last word. Um, you know, on whether to go to war or not, or uh -huh. anything, was a lot of times with the women's elder women's councils. We could have used that yes. in our country recently. <laughs> we still can. We still can. That's a good point. Again, that's a different story. Yeah. <laughs> this is a cool piece and a very, a very pretty, um, mm -hmm. powerful piece. What's the title yeah, of this? Yeah, this is Crazy Horse. Crazy who Horse. Who was one of the leaders of the Lakota people, mm -hmm. uh, one of the biggest, um, uh, one of the last warriors there on the plains mm -hmm. with the plains tribes, and I'm sure this is representative of the Holocaust probably in the plains. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. And this would be, um, I wonder who that represents specifically, I don't know. I'm not sure who that one is. Mm -hmm. This one is definitely a crazy horse because mm -hmm. of the crazy horse monument. This is, oh. this is the way the monument is, the, um, their answer to um, Mount Rushmore, oh. is they're doing this crazy horse monument up in the Black Hills. And it's this huge mountain that they are They're carving it. It's oh. huge. It is. And this will be the image. This is the oh. image. It's Crazy Horse riding yeah. on his horse with his finger pointed like this. That's uh -huh. how I know. Oh, that's going to be a great place to Ooh, take. It's amazing. It take your take family them. and take a trip and really see oh, that for mm -hmm. for real in person. Yeah. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this again. Oh, now the very yeah. okay, the women, the woman, man. Now we haven't seen that yet. Right. Yeah. This one's one then. of my favorite. Mm -hmm. So you tell me when. Oh, this is beautiful, oh, the woman and man. Uh, tell me about this piece. Yeah, this one is really one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I love the colors, mm -hmm. and to me it's representative mm -hmm. of Native American couples. Um, mm -hmm. It's really interesting in the last census, um, stay together. Really? Yeah, divorce rate is very, very low. Huh, yeah. Yeah. More, more yeah. compared to other, mm -hmm. other, other people's Yeah, well. so that's kind of what this one signifies to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just love the curves and yeah, the, it's really, beautiful. it's really beautiful. beautiful what a face. beautiful face, very mm -hmm. serene, very peaceful, mm -hmm. very caring. Yeah, and this is two feathers means couple. Ah. One feather means a person single and two feathers means couple. So this ah. is just very much ah. a symbol to mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Well, that is that. Stripe rogue guy. <laughs> yeah. Strip rogue guy dancing. Yeah, yeah. stripe rogue. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, okay, so this piece, okay, uh -huh. there's the, the couple, he's, uh -huh. he's connected or married uh -huh. or with a partner. Uh -huh. And what is, what is, oh, they'll tell me, there's the crow, what does the crow signify? It's different things with uh, different tribes, I'm not sure about this one, actually, mm -hmm. um, but he is dancing, he mm -hmm. has his, um, his feathers here. Mm -hmm. um, he's not a traditional dancer, so mm -hmm. I'm not sure what he what this image is. Mm -hmm. um, I, because I can't tell if that's a rattle or mm. what. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. uh, in in general, that so so for for crows in general mean different things to all different tribes. There's not like some sort of one main meaning. Oh, no, interesting. No, not at all. Uh -huh. That varies from place to place. Uh -huh. Our culture is really quite diverse. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah, it's easy to kind of say, it's all that, like, yeah. you know, no, of course not. Well, crows are special. People don't know that much about crows. They actually live to be quite old. And they're, I believe they're monogamous, if I'm They're right. monogamous and they stay in one area yes. for generations. I love that. Yeah. I love crows. Yeah. yeah, they have incredible knowledge, very mm -hmm. smart animals. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this guy... The bandit. Yeah, this is, um, I believe this is an American Indian movement warrior. You can tell a lot of times by the hat mm. and um, 
and of course he's covered his face mm -hmm. and um, yeah, you know, we had our militant times also during the civil rights movement mm -hmm. in the 60s and 70s, mm -hmm. 60s, early 70s. We had the American Indian movement was, you know, alive and well yeah. and really kind of had a bit of a role here mm -hmm. because it was the people from Alcatraz that came up and supported the, the occupation of the occupation of here. Discovery yeah. Park? Right. <laughs> people came right from Alcatraz here. And now you don't want to mess with those guys. Oh, no. No, you don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On this one, beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous. Let's see, I'm going to start tight on that and then go ahead and... Uh -huh. Now these look like women. These are elder women. This looks like it could be kind of a ceremonial dance mm -hmm. because we have our hand drum here, shaker, mm -hmm. and they're elder women, um, you know, one feather, so mm -hmm. they are single elder women. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. This is a beautiful piece. I is love there, this. Is there anything the about the hands? Is it just something he might have liked to do or is there a meaning behind that? Hands do have a meaning, and I can't remember off the top of my head what it is. Mm -hmm. But you will see those a lot um, on uh, TP designs, oh. different designs. Yeah, mm -hmm. you see a lot of hands. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, again, this very strong female form, female character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she looks like she could be a traditional dancer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. such dignity. Mm -hmm. Yes. What colors? Mm -hmm. Again, that's what I love about Sam's. And this one again. Oh yeah, her, just her. What that's what it's called. Title, her. isn't it? Uh -huh. Yeah, she's uh -huh. um, probably in prayer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. gorgeous. Praying. The, is it mother? Well, tell me what the spiritual. What is it? A, the a, a God, a God. Is it Mother Earth? What is the focus? Of, of spirituality. Um, creator. Creator. Yes, definitely creator mm -hmm. and uh, Mother Earth and the mm -hmm. spiritual realm. And so the whole world, everything in the world, the natural world, is part of mm -hmm. what what is worshipped? Would that be? Is that right? Worshipped? Uh, worshipped's kind of yeah. a different term. I'm not sure um, how you held would sacred? categorize it. Absolutely held sacred, yeah. Okay. And that we're all interrelated. Mm -hmm. and that no one holds really dominion over anyone else, that we're all in balance, mm -hmm. and that everything's in reciprocity. Mm -hmm. When you give, mm -hmm. you receive, mm -hmm. and vice versa, mm -hmm. and that there's a balance. Everything always returns to balance. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. That's wonderful. Well, thank you. You're That's welcome. fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, so, audience.org. Okay, so it's you now. I'm, I'm, I'm rolling if you, want to get, if you want to say exactly what that is into the... I mean, oh, so, what you, so you have it? No, no. Oh. no I'm rolling if you want it. What oh, let me just, I just got to get it for so I can get clear on what it is. UnitedIndians.org, but I'm not sure of the gallery hours, actually. Well, they can go there to find out, can't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would it be on that site? Yeah. Okay, that's mm -hmm. all I care about. And then I want you guys this way because okay. I don't want to see that door. Okay. All right. And, so, um, uh, mm -hmm. whenever mm -hmm. you want. Like. Okay. Um, well, Thank you so much for being with us. And Susan, this has been a wonderful tour, looking Thanks. at the, the art, kind of learning about Daybreak Star. If people want to learn more about Sacred Circle, they mm -hmm. can go to the website, which is? UnitedIndians.org. UnitedIndians.org. Mm -hmm. And you can come down, even if you don't want to go to Sacred Circle. Well, let's do it again, because I want to say something about people coming and just enjoying oh, Daybreak okay. Star. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, Susan, thank you so much for the tour. This is fantastic, the art, the space. Now, if, if our viewers want to check out Sacred Circle Gallery, mm -hmm. where can they get information about it? On our website, unitedindians.org. Okay, unitedindians.org. Mm -hmm. So you can come, you can go to the gallery. You can also just wander through this beautiful space and the whole park area around this. It's really, really wonderful. Mm -hmm. So thanks, thanks so much, and mm -hmm. thanks a lot for joining thanks us. Thanks for coming. Mm -hmm. Great. Fabulous.
then I'm going to go to the rest of the room. Good. Okay. And, and you can work your way down the wall, just like I'm not here. This one, I need a big wall for it, boy. Some interesting pieces. I wonder if they're painted by who's English? That's Is there any English? Is he native? One of the native painters, I'm sure. Must be. I'm not sure, but I think this is Scott Bakula. Come on in. I think all these guys are single, but I'm really not interested.
story is that he was here shooting a film. Right. And, and he, in between takes, he came in and uh, interfaced with the Indian women here. In right? a non-respectful way. disrespectful way. So he spent 5,000 hours and bought that piece that's out there. Huh? For a tone and he gave it to the center. He gave it back to us. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. That's the way we always paint. We paint in very bold colors. Now, this is not, he's not a, a Northwest Native American artist. No, he's Chippewa. And the interesting thing about Sam, and I always kid him about this, is he's a Chippewa. Now, they're great mixed people. Okay, they're around Lake Superior, Lake Michigan. Central Canada, and it's like, okay, you're Chippewa, this is where your people live, but you were born and raised in Albuquerque, New Mexico. <laughs> but it's just like me, I mean, you know, I'm an Apache, and, and uh, I went to that Indian over there, mm -hmm. okay, and I got up here, and I had all these people walking up to me, and they're going, oh, I'm uh, Squamish, or I'm Snohomish, or I'm Puyallup. So I'm like, you're like, oh, you are definitely lighter, oh, way lighter, yeah. If you wish you were darker, sometimes mm -hmm. I really do. Mm -hmm. You know, because I mean that was the color I lived with all my life until I moved up here. Mm -hmm. I moved up here in '94. What and, brought you up here? Uh, to finish this work. Anything else that uh, we didn't no. talk about? The totem? Yeah, with the shoes out, but she didn't talk about it, but with the shoes. The witch now? There's a really cool totem that was down at, originally down at Pioneer Square, and they were going to, the city was going to wreck it. Oh, yeah? So the, they Turn were, it into mulch. <laughs> like, it's like almost 100 years old. 
So it was, it was the one that they replaced in the Purdue right. area. Exactly. 25. 25. So they should have just said, this place sucks. <laughs> why is that? That's, in other words, but she was questioning, why him? I mean, yeah, how, she was like, why? If you want to fix the problem with his programming, why should why, why would he still be there? Yeah. When, yeah. Yeah, exactly. No. Who's Phil Lane? Phil Lane is the CEO of this place. Oh, no. What we're talking about has nothing to do with this. Ah, no. Okay. Now, Phil Lane is the CEO here. No, who, who is he? I read about that in the uh, Phil Lane is, um, he is a Dakota hereditary chief. Mm -hmm. And um, he is uh, related to Brian DeLoria. Who's that? Brian DeLoria was a very famous um, writer. So they just took you away. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, Do you remember it? Oh, I no. Don't that, no. I, I don't remember that. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, I only remember a couple of very bad events that happened. You know, when I was five years old. But um, that seems to be the things that we remember the most. Are the things that happened to us that are bad. Mm -hmm. All right. You know, it's just like. Part of the 